Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, Google Ad Keyword Research. I will be showing you step by step uh, the Google Keyword Research the way we do it here in at DTech Digital. Uh, my name is Arvind and I'm running a digital marketing agency here in Australia. Okay, let's dive in how to do a keyword research. Keyword research is one of the most important part when it comes to the Google Ad. If you have done your keyword research right, you can have a profitable Google ad. Otherwise, it can cost you so much money if you're not targeting the right keywords. So in this video, we gonna uh, go the proper keyword research. Let's dive in. First of all, uh, the, the method we use our, in our company here is we have this um, sheet design where we, where we do our keyword research and then we break them down according to the um, according to the journey stage or, or what sort of campaign we are targeting and uh, what is the intent behind that keyword research. So we will go deep into that. So the first thing is need to do is uh, you need to find out your seed keyword. Uh, what do I mean by seed keyword is like you don't have to do any research. If you are hiring a business, you can ask them, okay, what sort of the words they put it in the Google to find out about their business let's say if i'm running a catering company then uh, the seed keyword might be catering company corporate catering company corporate catering in sydney corporate catering company in melbourne or breakfast catering so those are the seed keywords so these are a very generic keywords which it is related to the business so when we are we are doing the keyword research so first we have to do is we just go up in here in this um, in this all competition keywords so what we gonna do here is we gonna make a a tab which is like a seed keywords so let's say we are doing a research for the catering company who provide a corporate catering to the people so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say so these are the the word which is coming in my mind so let's say catering corporate catering um, breakfast catering lunch catering um, morning tea catering best catering company best lunch catering company so anything anything related to the business so for this one you don't have to rely on any tool so you have to do a like a mental research or you can ask your client like a, um, what sort of keywords his client or his uh, his um, his customer will put up a, a in the Google um, Google search bar to find out about his business so that's totally on like you can say is the intent based keywords okay so let's say the best lunch catering company um, uh, salad catering okay so when we are doing this one so this can be this seed keywords can be the base of our keyword research okay so once we have done this one this let's say we have come up with that many nine eight keywords and then and let's say we gonna we gonna put it up here in um, in uh, catering catering Sydney catering Sydney okay so see this is one of the another way to find out the related searches the Google are giving you so you can have an idea from here as well and then you can add this one to to your sheet let's say catering Sydney corporate we haven't written down that one catering Sydney CBD catering Sydney delivery so what are we gonna do here we're gonna go here and catering Sydney CBD catering delivery so at the moment we are not worrying about how much search is we getting or what kind of competition it is just purely based on our research what we going to find out about the keywords okay okay once you have done that one you can you can go up here let's say okay these these are the if you can see these are the ad so if you see here this is a sponsor ad so these these are the people who are coming with the keywords of catering Sydney so what do we have to do is we have to go all the way down and we need to find out okay what are the related searches according uh, with this keyword so 
here catering said need delivery food catering buffet catering cheap catering small catering so what we can do here we can get up here cheap catering small catering what was the other one uh, finger food catering buffet catering finger food catering buffet catering and what was another one party catering or small party catering sydney party catering small party catering sydney so so once we have done that one there is another trick which we normally use is let's say you have put a your main seed keywords then put in a space so it will give you just put in a space in there and then it will give you the filler let's say um, catering sydney cbd inner west city so if you think those keywords are related to your business you can put them or the another way is to <clears throat> just give in a space at the front just put the cursor in here then it will give you okay small parting PLA catering or catering sydney west so that's that's the another way to do it or let's say we are going for the another keyword which is corporate catering so so this is the auto suggestion by the uh, by google so this can be very useful um when we are doing the search okay so let's say say corporate catering sydney corporate catering sydney cbd corporate catering north sydney Parramatta, newcastle so it is a filling up so these are the it might be from the google perspective it, these are the most of um, the the uh, what's say the favorite searches or the most popular searches might be happening in, uh, on the google so if let's say your if your business is in a city or somewhere uh, closer to you or the location wise you can add those keywords into your seed keyword list so when this one happen so you can you can go with all of the those keywords which you have put it up here and you can find out what is what is google suggesting you you according to those let's say corporate catering sydney okay so we have done this one so then we gonna go what are the related searches coming to that particular keywords so let's say see office lunch catering sydney drop off catering sydney cheap corporate catering sydney and corporate catering sydney cbd so this is how you find out the long tail keyword research with the with the help of the google which we normally do when we are doing the research for our client so what we can do is here we can add drop off catering drop off catering office lunch catering corporate catering sydney with cheap kit corporate catering sydney okay so we're gonna put it up here office lunch catering office lunch catering cheap lunch catering sydney cbd okay so keep in mind this is we are not using any sort of uh, tool at the moment here this is just to do the research on um, on your um, uh, a google based research which we are doing at the moment so once you once you are satisfied with your um, with with this one with your seed keywords it can be you can go as deep as you want but i think between uh, 10 to 20 keyword is more than sufficient for you to go into your google ad keyword planner to find out what's what is happening okay so let's say so once you have done your seed keyword things um, uh, you have figured out what are the main popular keywords then you what do we have to go in um, in a google ads in this video i'm just gonna only talk about a google keyword planner which is like most of people are not able to afford the uh, the paid search tools but in my point of view is uh, i think google is one of the best uh, to have your initial journey started on um, uh, to to do the keyword research so because most of the paid tool they they fetch their data from the google ads anyway so from the google so rather than going here and there we just start our keyword research from here so what you have to do in here is just comes on the tools and setting and um, then go on your keyword planner just click up in here okay next explore keyword planner okay so we have a three tab here okay 
the, the first one is the discover new keywords get a search volume and forecast and organize keywords into the ad groups so the option we're going to use up here is discover a new keywords let's say you have a seed keywords which we have done up here so those are the starting point of our keyword research and then the get a search volume and forecast let's say um, you have uh, you just want to find out what is the search behind that or how many search is happening on monthly basis what are the uh, what are the uh, the top of the page or how much people are paying to be on the top for that particular keyword uh, what is the volume is happening or to get a forecast forecast for those particular keywords okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a discover new keywords so in here we can start with our seed keyword which we have done it or you can start with a, a your website or your competitor website to find out what sort of keywords they are targeting but uh, for this tutorial we are gonna go with our our this keyword so keep in mind uh, at the moment let's say um, keyword planner is only allowed you to add 10 keywords at when you are discovering new keywords okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna put it up here and so four eight ten so these are the ten and enter a site to filter unrelated keywords so you can if you want to filter out something you can put your, um, uh, your the site over here but we're not gonna do that one we just gonna go get a result so here we are so those those are the keyword which we have we have did the seed keyword things these are their their search volume their competition or what are the top of page uh, bid low range high range everything is in here okay and uh, additionally google has provided us with the 1275 keywords idea available so these if you see the there are a lot of keywords in here which is like it's not easy to go with all of them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some filter around it so first thing is let's say at the moment it's giving us the the volume for for all australia okay let's say you are um, uh, you are only targeting a one pacific city in our case we are only targeting let's say sydney okay what are we gonna do here we're gonna come up here we're gonna put sydney target and then we're gonna exclude this one so at the moment we only targeting sydney okay so if you see that the search volume uh, previous to previous one now it had been uh, it had been dropped so average average searches for this one came to 2000 uh, sorry 210 monthly searches and then competition and and the bid range also got changed so let's expand this one so you can see clearly so these these are the keyword we have provided see it's google saying keyword that you provided and these are the ideas from the um, uh, from google but before going for because these are there are uh, more than thousand keywords what we're we gonna do we're gonna put some filters on it okay and then add a filter what we're we gonna do is we want to see the searches which is greater than 20 because this um, this category is um, um, they don't have that many searches if you can see there is a 10 searches and 10 zero searches so what we need to do is we need to um we need to put a filter so let's say so this is like greater than whatever number you're gonna put it up here or lesser than this one okay so what we're gonna do is greater than let's say 10 so we're gonna apply that filter in here so so what it done is it has any searches below than 10 has been um, excluded so we started with more than 1200 but now we have a 787 so what we what we can do over with these keywords we we gonna download them as a uh, csv file so we can transfer them to our our sheet over here and then we can uh, we can start sorting them according to our campaigns need and uh, according to our um, our um, uh, our website okay so 
let's say we're gonna go up here so what are we gonna do is here we're gonna download as a as a csv one thing i forget to mention is uh, which was like we we choose this one and make sure you have chosen the language you want to target which is english obviously in this scenario we only targeting a english language and then make sure you are you are only targeting a google not a search partner okay so in google and then this one you can target the last month or last 12 month or last 24 month or all available data but to be a relevant with your keyword research um, i would recommend or the normally how i do it is so the last 12 month data so these are the last 12 month data okay and then once we have done this one what we need to do is we are gonna go in here download as a csv file okay so that's a preparing a report <clears throat> and once that one has been downloaded so we're gonna click on to that so here we go so so these this is our actual sheet so what we so what it has done is it has given us all the such volume what is the changes is happening competition and everything the one one more thing i would like to point out to you is this i i do have spent some money into that account that's why we are getting the exact number of how much uh, what is the current volume or average monthly search is happening around that keywords but for example if it's your new account you might not able to see this one so google recommend to spend some money into your um, google ad account so they can they can give you the exact search volume data so if you haven't spent any money on your google ad account or if your account is new you wouldn't be able to see um, this exact number they might um, they might show you up here is 1 to 100 or um, 100 to 1000 or 1000 to 10000 something like that okay so this is only uh, i am able to see the exact data because uh, um, my account is active account and we do have spent some money into that account so that is the reason it is showing us um, with the exact uh, numbers okay and once we have um, once we have done this one what we need to do is we need to take this data to our our google sheet up here okay so in this in this sheet the primary objective for this sheet is let's say we we're gonna have our keywords here yes over here keywords here and then all the average all the relevant data average monthly searches competition top of page top of page bid ad impression you might not need all of this one but i would I recommend you to have this one so you can see what what is the trend happening behind that keywords okay and with okay let's import the keyword first so what we need to do we need to get that um, sheet up here in our google ad in uh, in my drive so what i'm gonna do is here come up here import what we need to do import is my drive da, da, da upload browse i'm gonna go my recent so this is the file keyword okay replace pressure delete automatically separate type import data okay so we have imported the file which we have downloaded so what we need to do here is we gonna remove all of this file one two this row sorry and edit come here delete delete selected rows okay so this one has been deleted and another thing we don't need this currency because we know that it's going to be in a australian so we are gonna do here is delete where is the delete gone delete column and average monthly such as we do need that and then we three month changes competition yes we all need this one and rest is up to you if you want to keep it you want to keep it as for your reference for the search data if not that's totally up to you what we gonna do here is let me go back to my sheet i'm gonna delete this one 
okay so what are we gonna come up here is we gonna once once you have this sheet what are we gonna do here we're gonna copy this one copy and then come up here and this is a sheet on the keyword and here we go just command copy and paste okay so so I have already applied the filter in here so what we need to do we need to delete this row okay okay so edit delete delete row 2 okay so here we are so what we have done is in here now so we have we have imported all the all the data from from uh, from Google ad and then what we have done is we just put it up here okay so now so what I have done over here is I have applied the filter to apply the filter just like data remove filter let's say I remove the filter so what I'm gonna do here is data create a filter okay sorry uh, here so you select the row and then go data create a filter so what it has done it has created the filter so what we need to do here is let's say we want to find out what are the highest searches keywords are because we want to go from the highest searches keyword to the bottom of that like um, so we don't spend our time on the lowest keywords we uh, keyword um, keyword that has the lowest um, search volumes so once you have imported your data in here what you need to do after applying the filter and what you have to do is just come up here and then sort z to e so what it has done is it has um, automatically has sorted the the keyword with the highest volume first so this is like it what it does it fast process your um, sorting out your keyword research otherwise if you go one by one then it's very hard to do it so this method really worked for us so i hope if it can help for you as well at the end of the video i will provide you this uh, link of this sheet so you can use it as uh, as as to your needs okay the fun part happen is after once you have done this one the fun part is you need to you need to decide you need to decide what sort of campaign you want to run let's say let's say you have a have a campaign you in which you need to decide according to according to your site let's say you are running a catering campaign you need to you need to divide your site according to the campaign so let's say you have a breakfast lunch am pmt finger food or location or occasional okay let's delete this one okay so these are your main campaign okay so you have given them the number one two three four five okay the reason behind i am giving the number it will make a sense in a minute uh, okay and then another thing is if you see here in in here i have say what to do with this keyword okay and so intent match is if if this keyword we are targeting am i the right solution for the customer so let's say if customer is um, um, customer is ordering for the wedding catering but we do not provide the wedding caterer so that's mean our company is not the best fit for for wedding cater but if it's saying okay catering in a sydney cbd or corporate catering like lunchbox catering so do we provide lunchbox if yes then we are the right fit for our customer and then this comes here is a ida formula ida is like awareness interest desire and action like at in what stage the customer is uh, customer is rolling let's say what is catering so that's a awareness stage like customer is figuring out uh, uh, about the catering interest 
interest can be like uh, um, okay what to order for the lunch catering that's say that's say interest so he's figuring out he he wants to he is not sure what to order De desire is uh, okay catering around me or uh, best food to order so that's a best food for lunch catering that's a that's that that can be a part of the desire and then action okay catering near me or order for 10 people that can be the action stage where they are ready to order for their order so what we what we gonna do is what we gonna do here let's say what i have done here in here is so what to do with the keyword so if i am the right fit for that particular query like a corporate catering and we are providing a corporate catering so then i'm gonna give that that keyword is a number one and number two can be okay this keyword is like a idea for the lunch catering so that i can target that keyword as a content okay three if you're not sure about it or you don't know what to do it like let's say um, wedding caterer okay you don't know about it maybe your client is offering or he's gonna offer in the future yes no we not sure we say don't know let's say neg four is negative negative keyword is like where you don't want your ad to be shown for that particular keyword let's say you're providing the catering in a in a uh, in a sydney but but catering in melbourne is your negative keyword because if someone is searching for catering in melbourne and if you haven't decided or have marked melbourne as a negative keyword for your campaign then your ad will be showing up and then you're going to lose the budget or if somebody place the order anyhow then if you are if your company is in in a sydney then you cannot deliver to melbourne yeah so that makes sense so we melbourne can be or catering in melbourne can be your negative keyword five is your competitor let's say if if something is um, um let people are searching with uh, your competitor names or let's say abc catering okay so abc is your competitor so you wanna you don't want to if you can advertise or you you don't want to advertise that's totally different thing but you can you can put in a bucket of number five which is saying competitor six is like uh, let's say so if any any keyword that doesn't make any sense to your business let's say late night catering or late night food or a or a uh, pickup catering or something like that uh, according to your business which you don't want to target and you just want to simply ignore it okay and uh, seven is this one is uh, also is you can put it if is your business or if is your client business if something uh, searches are coming up for particular keywords like a uh, like a high tea catering and you're not targeting for the high tea catering and then you say okay this is the great idea or this is the great um, um, great um, great thing to add to the menu so in future if we gonna add this idea to to our our site we can put them in that bucket okay so that's that's the that's that's how this word thing work okay and intent match i already told you if i'm my product is the top solution we're gonna target them as a number one if maybe it could be your related then we're gonna give them a number two and if three that's me no it's a simply no no we're not we're not targeting them okay so that is that is that is no okay journey stage is again which i have i have uh, mentioned you that is depending on what stage is the customer is the is he in awareness stage is he interested is he desire stage or is he ready to take an action so that's totally depend on you and you can decide according to the keywords we will go through with all these keywords to find out um, how how this thing can help you in the long run and then here is number of number your campaign so we have number already one two three four five okay so what i have done here so in the next part we are going to discuss how we're gonna put all those keywords in a different campaign how we're gonna sort them out for the different ad groups and how we're gonna make a, a google ads so all that coming in our second part video so stay tuned for that 
any comments any feedback please mention in the comments and i will see you in the next video thank you very much